I am so excited about today's video. I asked two of my favorite YouTubers, Erin from The Eclectic Homeschooler and Chantel from Intentional Homeschooling to join me in sharing with you guys five books that have really meant a lot in our lives. Whether it's changed our lives or influenced our lives, we want to share five books with you each that have done that for us. Now, Erin, the eclectic homeschooler, she's like the coolest homeschooler. She's where I want to be in five years. She has got it down, I mean, from the outside perspective at least. Check out her videos on reverse scheduling and block scheduling and the curriculums her kids are using. I just have so much respect for Erin and really appreciate what she puts out there for us to learn from. Chantel from Intentional Homeschooling will post a lot more about unschooling her kids, games they're using, books they use. Chantel loves books. She has a separate channel called Chantel Reads All Day. I don't really like reading fiction very much, but I always sit with my app open to uh, my library so that I can reserve these books because she makes me want to read all day. And then she has another channel where she talks about foster care as well. So I would recommend checking out all of her stuff also. These are the two ladies that I sit down and I fold my laundry each week and watch their videos because I really appreciate what they have put out there. So I'm so excited that they are joining me in this collaboration today. If you're just here for the giveaway and you wanna learn more about that, go down to the timestamps in the description box. Um, I'm gonna put all that information at the end of this video just in case the giveaway is already done and you just wanna see what the books are. Now, if you haven't been to my channel before, hello, thank you for coming. I am Abby. Um, I am a homeschool mom of four boys ages eight down to three, he's almost four. And so I have really been enjoying that. I feel like it has been a calling that God has called me. He's actually made it really evident that I am called to homeschool my kids. But on my channel, I cover homeschooling stuff, and a lot of other things mostly we just want to be like your christian neighbors we want to talk about christian parenting and christian living as a family so that's what you're going to find as content on my channel i'd love to have you subscribe and stick around and we'll see you again in the future let's get to the books so i decided to share today about the five books that have really influenced my life and yeah, probably changed my life too. These books span through different stages of my life. And the first one I wanna tell you about is a book I read in about seventh, eighth grade. And that is the Case for Christ Student Edition by Lee Strobel. When I was in like seventh and eighth grade, I just had questions about, is my faith my own? Or is it just something I'm following my parents for? Do I really believe this? And so I was given this book, I don't remember who by, probably my parents, but it really walked through why we believe what we do. Lee Strobel, if you don't know, um, was a journalist and he went into investigating, trying to disprove his wife about Christianity. And he ended up deciding, no, this is the real deal. Um, it's a lot of like that C.S. Lewis kind of argument too about like the logic of Christ, but then also getting into the science of it. The Case for Christ Student Edition is really a very easy read for kids to understand. I don't have this book here to show you because I have purchased numerous copies and given them away and I just currently don't own one. This is one I will definitely have my children read in the future too. I still read The Case for Easter every year because I feel like um, it really just helps me to remember and think about and reflect about some of those details that we don't necessarily get um, just from our Bible or Bible studies. Like it really goes into more um, understanding the depths of some of that and I really enjoy that. Now apologetics is nothing without out the faith that goes with it too, right? And like the heart and the living it out and believing it. Um, I think a lot of times we see people who are really good at the apologetic side, but then don't really understand some of the love and faith side that goes along with that. Which brings me to the next book, and that is The Truth and Grace Paradox with by Randy Alcorn. I was given this book in college, and um, I originally kind of lived more on the East Coast, and I am really good, my family is really good at the truth aspect. Like, it's that apologetic, like, this is what it says, this is what the Bible says, and if the Bible says it, I'm gonna do it, um, kind of side of things. But 
what is that without grace? I mean, Jesus came full of truth and grace, right? Anyways, that's what you're going to hear in this book. It really helped with my marriage too. My husband is grace. He's all about grace and I am all about truth. And so we've had to learn how to share and help each other in those aspects. So this is a great one. It's like 99 pages. You guys, I don't think any of my books are super big that I'm recommending. Check this one out. After graduating from Bible college with my bachelor's degree, I got my MRS degree. Yeah, I got married. And I wish that we would have read this book back then, but we didn't. It wasn't even out yet. It's You and Me Forever by Francis Chan and Lisa Chan. We love this book. So my husband is a pastor and we do a lot of premarital and marriage counseling together and we always use this book. It's about marriage in light of eternity. This isn't your practical steps on how to have a good marriage if you do blah blah blah. Like this is thinking about marriage in a completely different way. Outside of the cultural norms of what marriage looks like, this is the idea of how God intended your marriage to be. One of the first ideas is considering preparing your spouse for the first time that they will meet God. Like, have I done what I can to make sure that when my husband meets God, he is ready for that? Or my kids or my family, are we living intentionally on mission serving God? And how can we do that? Actually, in about two weeks, I'm going to be doing a video on our family's mission statement, chapter four of this book. Is kind of where that idea comes from. So make sure to check out that video, come back for it also. Um, if you want to have a better marriage together here on earth, you really need to bring God into that marriage. And how do you do these things? What does that look like? You guys, this is fantastic. I would actually recommend just about any Francis Chan book, but this one is at the top of the list. This is a fantastic book. So check out You and Me Forever, Marriage in Light of Eternity by Francis Chan. The next book I want to recommend, I don't actually have with me. It's Teaching from Rest by Sarah McKenzie. I borrowed this book twice from my friend when I first started being interested in homeschooling, and then I ended up buying it on Audible so that I could listen to it over and over again. It's a really quick read. It's around 100 pages, easy to get through. And Sarah McKenzie was really able to um, articulate and explain homeschooling and the idea of family being together, of the good things that we are able to enjoy. Every page on this book I would highlight, right? So like that's why I just ended up buying it on Audible so I can keep relearning, rehearing it again and again because it is so good. So if you are considering homeschooling, this is the first book that I would recommend. And I know that Erin has talked about it on her channel as well. It will give you peace about your decision and show you kind of what the world of homeschooling looks like and reassure you that you can do it. Now, there are other homeschooling books since I've read this one that have been amazing and have really influenced me, but this book fell into my lap at a crucial time in my life. And so I have to recommend it. I really think that it will help you on your homeschooling journey too, if you feel like that's something you're being called to. All right, so the last book I want to recommend to you is still one that God is using to work in my heart. And that is Something Needs to Change by David Platt. Um, yeah. <laughs> so... David takes you on a journey with him through the Himalayas. And this book is written um, in a journal entry style. Uh, so he takes you with him and he talks about what he's seeing in the villages, what he's learning. He shares with you his prayers and his devotions that he's reading that go along with this journey. The subtitle to this book is A Call to Make Your Life Count in a World of Urgent Need. And this is the idea of loving your neighbors, of thinking about people outside of our own walls, of our own house, but considering... <laughs> The kids are coming in. Um, but considering what we can do to be part of the world at need. And um, we're called to be uh, disciples and to disciple others, to go into the world. And he acknowledges that not everyone is called to go, but everyone is called to um, 
to tell the gospel, to make a difference, to not forget about others. And he really helps you wrestle with these ideas of what what does that mean for my life. He doesn't allow you to just stay uh, content and comfortable in your own world, but really wants you to think about how you are going to answer that call um, of Jesus's uh, mission for us. Go into all the world and preach the gospels to all nations, making disciples of all people, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, right? Like, guys, this is a tearjerker. It will wreck you. It will challenge you. You have to check this book out. So each of these books has had some kind of impact in my life. I am not quite sure. God is working in our family right now and we are really seeking out how to answer some of these questions of um, answering Jesus's call to go into all the world and preach the gospel. A lot of times that does happen locally and I just posted a video a couple weeks ago about some things that we do locally to make global change. So you can check that one out if you're looking for some ideas as well. We are willing to go to the mission field. We would love that. We want that. Um, but it doesn't seem like the timing is now or that it's right for us. And so we are waiting for that currently, but we know that there are things that we can be doing where we are. And that is what I wanna be talking about on our channel overall, together with friends, figuring out how we can make a global change right from our own homes. And that might just be raising tiny disciples. It might be for my husband preaching from the pulpit. It might be prayer walks or um, leading at different Bible studies. Maybe it is sharing with you here on YouTube and encouraging you that your family can make a huge difference for this world, for God's kingdom. And so I hope that you'll join me again in a couple of weeks when we talk about our family mission statement. So make sure to subscribe. Otherwise, let's talk about the giveaway that is part of this video. I want to bless one of you with one of these books that we have recommended today, either Aaron Chantel or myself. So here's what you need to do. You need to subscribe to all three of our channels. Then I need you to comment on Aaron's video and Chantel's video. And lastly, on my video, I would like you to tell me which book you would like to win. On Christmas Eve, I will do a drawing. Uh, I mean, this is like, in no official capacity, right? It's not YouTube or Facebook or Instagram related. Like, this is just my thing. You have to trust me. I'm gonna put your names and books that you want in a drawing. I'm going to draw your name, a name, on Christmas Eve, and then I will comment on your comment to figure out how to get a hold of you, to let you know that you won, and send you that book. Because if these books are so important to us, why wouldn't we wanna pass that information on to you. So comment down below what book would you like to win? Subscribe to all three of our channels and comment on the other ladies videos as well. Thanks so much for joining us you guys. I hope that this was really um, helpful and useful information to you. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.